<laughs> so I love you. Oh, you don't want to get that email <laughs> that I just sent. That was really aggressive. This gets okay. a little aggressive. You gonna just keep eating cake and food and everything in front of me, baby? You think this is easy? Ain't no other trash you could have put that in? You, you, so you just want me to know you're just eating a cupcake while I'm working, right? How do you feel? How's your taste buds? You want a little cold milk to go with that? Should we get that flown in? Okay. So, so I, love, I, love, I, love, I love your shirt, by the way. And I got so emotionally watching the movie yesterday. And I was wondering, do you remember your f first meeting with, with Paul? Uh, I do. I do. Um, I met Paul in L.A. Um, we, we actually had lunch when my, when I stepped in, when I had the opportunity to step in for Too Fast, Too Furious. We, like, we bonded and connected immediately and we just, we could barely get Too Fast, Too Furious done because we was just cracking too many jokes and having too many parties and it was just too much. And then we was young, making way too much money. <laughs> All them women in Miami, it was just dangerous stuff, man. Jesus Christ. How you gonna put us out here and tell us to focus? Get the hell out of here. Well, how was it like for you to, to watch the movie? I guess you, you watched the whole movie. How was that experience? Um, well, it's, um, you know, you want to go into this movie with a heavy heart and then you realize like, okay, wow, Paul was in like 85% of the movie yeah. before his brother stepped in. Um, and so you're like watching it the way you watch every other movie. Um, you're just excited and fired up and just kind of dealing, embracing all of this energy and this kind of the Fast and the Furious DNA is like, it's its a culture. It's a world in itself. And, um, but I definitely, uh, it was definitely emotional at the end. It was. Uh, the crazy thing is, I just seen it the other day uh, in a film festival in Austin. And it was actually more emotional, the first edit that I seen compared to now. But it's all beautiful. It's a, the most beautiful tribute ever, ever. And it's not just like film clips. It's like, I think the genius and the metaphor of it all, you know, with the, with the you know, it's just, it's, yeah, it it's beautifully done. Very, very proud. Yeah, I don't think people are expecting to cry when they leave the theater, but it was like very, very touching. Yeah. So in this movie, you don't have to do so much of the fighting. I feel, are you happy about that or? Um, I don't mind fighting. I just think, um, I just think we all evolve, you know? I'm ready to fight, you know? I got my ass beat in six in the train station. I wasn't happy about that, but I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to get into that. So they got the muscles and all the baby oil covered, deep voices, got the beautiful ladies and the cars and the energy. And we're just trying to say, we got all of this how do I do what I'm here to do and make sure that I'm doing good at it? And that's it. And you get all the good jokes, though. I, I try my best because you crack a joke doesn't mean it works. That's true. So it's, it's, it's a strategy to it. Uh, <laughs> I hope I never disappoint me and, me and Ludacris. We love trying to bring some funny in those intense moments. It was great. I loved this movie. I was unexpected, but it was great.